Let's welcome the presence of the Lord by clapping our hands. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you for your presence this evening. Amen. No? So welcome to our Tuesday um, Hour of Power and Prayer Meeting Service. So we would also like to welcome our live stream viewers. Please don't forget to like and share this video so that others may also be blessed. So as we are going to start our service, let us um, call on Sister Hannah for the scripture reading and then to be followed by Sister Josie for the opening prayer. Good evening. Let's open our Bibles into the book of John 14, 26. Again, John 14, 26. But when, but when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto, unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth which proceeded from the Father, you shall testify of me. May God bless the reading of this word. Let us pray. Almighty loving Father, we praise your holy name, O God. 
Lord, as we start our service this afternoon, O God, Lord, we ask for forgiveness, O Lord, for all the things that we had done in our lives, O God. Thank you, O Lord, for cleansing our sins, O God, with your most precious blood in the mighty name of Jesus. I also pray, O Father God, the one who will bring forth of your message, O God, Lord, your anointing shall be his portion this afternoon, O God. And also, Lord, I pray for those who are still on their way, O God. Lord, protect them, O God, that they come here, O Lord, safe and sound, O God. In your name, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, again, let's welcome the presence of the Lord by clapping our hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, as we start our praise and worship. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Amen. No, are we all blessed to be found in the house of the Lord this evening? Amen. And indeed, we believe that the Spirit of the Lord is great and mighty. Amen? Amen. and mighty so you may now be seated and let's proceed to our testimonies so who will be the first to give his or her testimony for this evening testimony yan sister inday palakpakan natin sister inday praise the lord may gabi sa tanan mga brothers and sisters in the lord Ako nagpasalamat sa Ginoo kay Katong Domingo, yung kunito ni Manlakaw na ta. Mangita na tag asa ta muadto. Praise God kay nakauna-una ako sa putik. Katong akong gipray sa una, katong tagiya, katong El Omri shoes dito sa kuan ang yang asawa na kuan man to nag aneurysm, gioperra and then Okay na siya karon, na nagakontinue mong kuatog adto. Karon kay wala naman kuy kuan kanang day off. Ang akong day off Domingo na lang man, nag-adto ko dito katong isang bulan, isang semana po nakit-an ako kay wala man ang husband, na confine po daw ang husband. Na yung ko atong adtoon bisitahon. Giadto na mo ni Tony, gibisita katong Domingo. Praise God kay gusto sila magpabalik. Magpa Bible study sila every Sunday daw. Praise God yung ko Lord. Imuha na ning kabuton Ginoo tabangi mi ani nga maka continue bi ba. Kay katong Domingo gasugod pa man mi sa ilaha kuan. Katong 
nag-share sa ilaha. And then, iapong kauban, lapit na po dito sa putik, sa unahan ng pod gamay, kauban ni Tony na stroke, amuang po itong giampuan dito sa kuan, sa doctor hospital niya, nakagawas na po sila, gusto po siyang magpa Bible study every Sunday po. Praise God, nagpasalamat ko sa ginoo kay yung ko Lord, tabangi mi nga, imugid mi gamiton. Pero iso to katong Domingo, naglakaw mi duhan ni Tony, nangita mi kalag, asa mi mo. Share sa iyang pulong. Praise God, akong ibalik ang dugo ng Himaya. Praise God, to God be all the glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Know that God has used brother and sister recto for the expansion of His kingdom. So another one who will give his or her testimony. Isa pa pong um, testifier. Ayun, Sister Mirna. Palakpakan natin, Sister Mirna. Uh, praise the Lord. May gabi sa tanan. Ako usab nagapasalamat sa atong buhi nga Dios kay maayo gyud siya no. Uh, atong Sabado, akong pasalamatan no kay uh, tulo lang mi sa Bible study namo dito. So praise the Lord kay bahin-bahin ba namo ni Marge ni Brother Moy og ako. So um uh, ma uh, nabless gyud ko no. May absent duha ka adult pero sa 18, naging 20, may absent, pero may, nagdag, may nagdagdag po. So, praise the Lord, God is good. Unya sa akong pag-uli po, no? Pag-uli sa mo, ah. Nakatagbo ko, oh, maridabli. Tapos, layo pa, smile, good time. Smile po ko. Sister, kailan na to? Nakinumdum ka na at nagiampuan nga hapit makuhaan si Barhosi. Lucia, inyo siya. Siya, kumusta daw ko? Inko, God is praise the Lord, God is good. Inko, maayo. And siya, hala, abini mo, nakainumdong ba daw ko? Katong nga ito, tagaampo, nakainumdong ba daw ko? Nga, unsa man, ang katong giampuan daw na ito siya, kaya nag-bleeding siya, karon daw, ang katong bata ng iyang gibuntis, piloto na daw. So, praise the Lord, God is good, no, kay usay malimot na tanya dunay magpaalaala sa to so dalay kun jud ang Ginoo kay dili jud kawang ang atong pagbuhat sa Ginoo amen amen praise the lord thank you sister mirna so i may I request everyone to please rise and let's sing the song i've got peace like a river Gustong magbigay ng testimony? Sino pa pong gusto magbigay ng tes testimony for this evening? Ayun, si Sister Manuel. Palakpakan po natin si Sister Manuel. Ah, good evening everybody, no? Yo tamen mo, tadalio, gracias kun Lord, kay El Dios, ben bueno gayot. Este di mio testimony throwback ste akan nuevo pa ya conoce kun Lord no cuando nuevo pa yo ya conoce kun Lord bien on fire gat kita akel ba 
Keregat kita si Cheni kita tasabe ansina misisita kun Lord Ioste aga tempo taki pa si Sister Sandy <laughs> kun Sister Sandy ta recommend yo ablayo Cheni ya misisita anda mam pray na ada Sister Sandy kun ateleya ta anda gani kita mo akel time abla tu turn no akel akel miracle baby kel kai akel di suegra kel di kuan di marites ken paken si sister el nana di di kuan oh sister alice aya ya anda kami mam pray ka mo kel tabla kai para sali ale kabar no ay kursi gi miracle baby no ben mana da kat si pensa hindi kita pwede kunta el milagro Shendo ya conoce kita kun Lord, no hindi kita pwede kunta. Ben manadagat si Lord ya se milagro. Chene ya pwede tu man share el palabra del Dios, ya sabe tu ya muri. Na praise da Lord, no at least ya pwede kita man asher para kun Lord, man da man receive, man repent, ya muri. Hindi ya tu dol kumpon ya bel Lord, itu ya kun daw kun ele, at least ya pwede kita man share el palabra di Lord, no. Praise the Lord, no. Tadalio, gracias kun Lord. Kay ele di mio curador, ele di mio provider. I ele gayot hindi tadeha kanaton itambien. Kung todo kanaton, tadalio, gracias kun Lord. Si Lord, ben bueno gayot. To God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. So, meron pa po ba ang gustong magbigay ng testimony? Anyone? Wala na? Wala nang magbibigay ng testimony. Okay, so if wala na po, may I request everybody to please rise and let's proceed with our worship this evening. No, may be our prayer tonight that the Holy Spirit will come upon us, will be our comforter and friend, they will reign upon us, will be in our presence this evening. Hallelujah, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence. Hallelujah.
Let's be in the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Holy Spirit, for your touch upon each one of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. May this be a sweet smelling favor unto your throne of grace. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Indeed, as we come before your throne, and as we have the heart of worship this evening, oh Lord God, may that be our prayer that we will all have a heart of worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. When the music fades, all is stripped away, and I simply come just. Sorry, Lord. 
our hands and open our mouths and worship the Lord hallelujah we glorify your name Lord we glorify your name we worship you Lord it's all about you Lord God it's all about you about us but it's all about you Jesus hallelujah it's all about you Jesus hallelujah 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 glory be to your name glory be to your name Lord hallelujah We praise your name, we magnify your holy name, hallelujah, 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 Jesus, hallelujah, shall we sing the chorus one last time, I'm coming back to the heart of worship. everybody please be seated and let's prepare our hearts for the word of God to be given to us by our, our pastor Isaac Kalisang.
Let's bow down here. Let's pray. Father, it is always our desire to be in your presence. That with in everything that we do, Lord, we do it for your glory and honor. And it is a form of worship, O oh God. Help us, Lord, to live a life of worship. And this evening, as we go to your word, God, Holy Spirit, be with us. Let understanding and wisdom and knowledge reign in us. Father, what we're about to learn this evening will be planted in our lives, in our heart. And Father, that it would grow and help us mature. That it would help us to be deeper in love with you. Father, God, Holy Spirit, be our portion. You are our great teacher. And so we need you, O God. We thank you for your goodness. And Lord, be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says, Amen. Okay, let's give God once again a round of applause. Hallelujah. Mayang gabi. Okay. So among you here, Yan, can you remember our lesson last Tuesday? Okay, kung nag-remember mo, basit natingala mo, we have the same text. We have the same text, but we will have a, diff- a continuation of it. Okay, are we ready? So before we proceed, last Tuesday, we talked about the same text, and we said about teacher-student relationship, that the Holy Spirit is going to teach us and bring all things into remembrance. Para kosa, for us to learn, for us to avoid deception, and temptation for us to escape destruction and for us to have peace. A very technical question, are we willing to learn? Are we willing to retain in our heart what we have learned? Are we willing to apply and live what we have learned? And so tonight, we will learn again why the Holy Spirit would teach us these things. Why he wants us to live a life that is pleasing to him, pleasing to God. A life that is Christ-like. And so, the Holy Spirit, do you believe that he is the one working in our midst this, this evening? We are in the dispensation of God, Holy Spirit. As a matter of fact, the church age was jump-started during the day of Pentecost after the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Hey, John 14, 26, it says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy, Spirit, Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. And then do you also remember that we have learned in John 16, chapter, uh, John chapter 16, verses 7 to 14, that the Holy Spirit, the Bible says when he comes, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness. Can you that? And of judgment. Okay. Now, let's go to the book of John 16, 7 to 14 para medyo man refresh the other mind and then I will connect this too. And we will really find out why the Holy, was, the Holy Spirit was given although we all know He is the comforter. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin, because they believe not on me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father and you see me no more. 
of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Howbeit, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come, and he shall glorify me, for he shall receive a mind, and he shall show it unto you. And so we look at the first part in verses um, 8 to 11. Three works of God, Holy Spirit, is to convict, the, to reprove the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. He's going to reprove the world of sin, righteousness, and of judgment. Okay, but those three separate God. Sin, the world, the believers of righteousness that we would surely believe that we have, we have the righteousness of Christ. And the Bible says of judgment because the prince of this world, referring to Satan, is judge. Okay, now, not only that, it says also here that the Holy Spirit, when he comes, He will not speak of himself. Okay? It says here, How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. It means, Iko sale, ya uwi, amole, abla. Pero hindi lang kung ken ken. It means, Whatsoever the teachings of Christ or kosat kere manda abla, elel abla kanatun. Okay. And he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. Now, the Holy Spirit here, we can see his work is to reprove or to convict. But brothers and sisters, Pregunte Denante, do you believe that the Holy Spirit is working? You said yes. How do you think that the Holy Spirit is going to convict the world of sin? Or to expose the world when it comes to sin? We will learn that. He is going to use his people. And this is the reason why God, Holy Spirit, teaches us what to do. The, non, the, the last time, he aprende kita that the Holy Spirit is going to teach us how to live a godly life. And now the Holy Spirit, we will learn how his people to become an effective child of God when it comes to sharing the gospel. If you look at the book of Acts, you would find there every single apostle relied on the power of God, Holy Spirit. And this is the reason why Jesus told them to wait until you be filled with the power from on high. The book of Acts Chapter 1, verse 8, and you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. That's the reason why they, they can perform miracles, not because of who they were, but because of the power of God, Holy Spirit. Now, I'll let you to your side. If you are willing, if you are willing, God, Holy Spirit, will work in you and through you. This is a gift to all believers. The question is, again, are we willing? Diba siya na mga gente, kere sila, kere yo pastor, kere rico, or kere yo pastor, kere yo chene power. 
Do you know with power comes responsibility? Do you know with leadership comes responsibility? And so many today wants the leadership. They want the, the power. They want this. They want that. But they don't want the responsibility. And if we say that I, we would like, I would like to be used by God and of God, make sure na intende kita that with that there are responsibilities. Amen ba? And so, Pastor, pakilaya tuya po de abla that we will be used by God and that He's going to work in us and through us. I'll give you three evidence. First, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Believers, we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And so in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19, it says, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you? Which ye have of God, and ye are not of your own. You know, we should be excited knowing that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Si El Unlus ba? Siya na unka sa skuru? Liba to Unlus na ben arde kayot kabar po neto adentro de casa? Siya niya question. El gente apuera, pwede ba mira El El Luz? Talagat na mabintana? Yes or no? And so, we need to understand that yes, the Holy Spirit is in control right now. The Holy Spirit, we are under the dispensation of God, Holy Spirit. But we need also to understand that God, Holy Spirit is going to work in us and through us. Mga stand Bible study. Always remember, when we go, we go under the power of God, Holy Spirit. We don't go there, kay ready yata, kay estudyayo. And yes, we need to study. But we don't go there, kumpiyansa yo, kay estudyayat yo, kay grab. We go there even though we have studied, but the reason why we have confidence, it is not because of what we have done, but knowing that we are under the power and guidance of God, Holy Spirit. Even when we study, we need to lean under His guidance. Okay? Second, we are vessels for the Master's use. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 21, it says, If a man therefore purge himself from this, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the Master's use, and prepared unto every good works. Who is our Master, by the way? God. Is, our, is the Holy Spirit our master? Is he Lord? Is he God? Yes. And third, Christ commissioned his disciples to continue his mission. his mission. In the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 43, and he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, for therefore am I sent. And then we go to other, um, other scriptures like John 20, 21, it is Jesus sending them. Everybody say with me, Disciples. Now, we know there are apostles also, 12 apostles. Now, may I ask you, are you a disciple of Jesus Christ? 
Are, are we disciples? What do you mean by disciple? Follower. Siya na ba follower hindi igual na di si mentor? Siya na ba follower hindi igual na di si mentor? Yes, there will be unique ways, pero you will be really some way. Siya na ka sa doon? Yes or no? Christ was sent to, Ablalaki, I was sent to preach the kingdom of God. In Acts chapter 1, verses 3 to 8, to whom also he showed himself alive after his, pas- after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Everybody say with me, kingdom of God. Okay. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall baptize, be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times and the, or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. And he goes on to say, But he shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Para cosa? That you shall be my witnesses. Do you know what witnesses really means? Sabes that is, witness comes from the Greek word martus, which means the, 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 the kumaga, El pinaka tupaw to translate that is martyrs. They were killed. And, and normally, si witness to na on trial, lalo yung grande kaso, di ba delikado yung kinabuhi? Why? Because, no kera sila, manda mang kwento contigo, lalo ya if you talk about the truth. And this is the reason why the Holy Spirit was sent. Because God knows we cannot do it by our own strength. And so have you noticed something? Everything revolves around God. He is the one who sent. He is the one who provides the power. He is the one who gives the authority. He is the one who 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 teaches us, who guides us. The words that we speak, the cosa kita man preach, comes from Him. And so we are vessels. Everybody say with me, vessels. That's why it's very important for us to understand the importance of God, Holy Spirit. Again, I will say this, God, Holy Spirit is not just a sort of energy. He is not just a force. He is the third person of the Godhead. He is also God. Amen ba? And so now understanding that the reason why He has given us the Holy Spirit for us to be an effective sharer, an effective soul winner, an effective fisher of men. That's why I said last time, El Church, kita aki, we should not be confined in our four walls. God did not call us to be a church para kita kita man alegria, aki man fellowship. We are not called to do that. First again, Yablayo, if you think that you are alright with God because you go to church every single day, but you don't have the desire to win a soul for Christ. You don't have desire to, to, to go and share, to sh- shed light to those in the dark. You really have a big problem with God. Because even Jesus, this was and will instill his mission. This who is the mission. But also, if there are people here who wants to be used by God, do not hinder them. Pero, guide them. 
lalo si mga bata pa. Para sa kalantas may tatat, talibagat ka namun. That we would be, we would be exposed to the ministry. And the Bible says, He that winneth so is wise. Hello? The Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go. You know what? Ya uwiyo ng mga bata kasi kung bata yun, tabla mga tiyon, makiriyo kita pastor. Pero I'm blessed, uwiyo kung dandan, kung janjan, kiriyo sila kita pastor. And so if that is really their desire and that is really what they want to do, and if you look at it, it's not just, you know, as young as they are, they need to be exposed in God's word. They need to be exposed. Hindi ako naliba ka to dahil na otologay, no? in mga ministries. Because in that way, they will learn. But a pinakabale is this, that they would be exposed spending time with the Holy Ghost. Spending time in prayer. Spending time in learning the Bible. And not just them, but all of us who are Disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen ba? And so, for us a question last time, are we willing? Are we willing? And hopefully, we will be willing. Okay. Now knowing that it is God, Holy Spirit, who teaches us, who mentors us, and points us to Jesus Christ. And so, kung ele di atun influensya, kosa debe datun bida? Huh? Powerless? Or powerful? That's why I said last time, Believers, si entendela na kita, are supernatural. Why? Because we have God in us. We are not supernatural because of who we are. We are not supernatural because pwede lang tuman pabesa na poste. Hindi. It is because God is in us. And we need to understand these things. And so how would we know that the person is really filled with the Holy Spirit? Simple. The very fruit. And the answer is here. Again, it says in, in the book of John chapter 16, let's start in verse 13, listen to what it says. How be it when he... The spirit of truth will stop there. A person who is filled with the Holy Spirit is a person filled with truth. It means truthful, honest, hates lies. Because the spirit that is within him is what we call, in the Bible, the spirit of what? Lies. Amen. In the, the spirit of truth. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. Everybody say all. Senya uy din ante paki kami mirayo akal pastor daule kaya man de miracle overnight aki and de mire it's even worse. He even say na mali daw el book of Hebrews, mas boy na pa daw interpretation, mas insip. As in, he is, not, he is not just a heretic, he is an apostate. He is a wolf not in sheep's clothing. He is a wolf who is proud to be a wolf. And the reason why he was doing this, because channel own lifestyle 
na tan struggle and he was trying to justify it. And so he does not have the spirit of truth, he has the spirit of confusion. And that, that, that spirit of confusion is not coming from God. And yet he says he believes the Bible. It's very dangerous nowadays. Kaya mas grabe ya Arael. Antes pa manchen si Mansina, pero mas malala ara. And so never believe anyone that would say to you, he is filled with the Spirit. Right away. Lalo yung sinukunong si Patu. Okay. <clears throat> For he shall not speak of himself. Who will the Holy Spirit point you to, by the way? He shall not speak of himself. He shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. This is Jesus telling his disciples. And so, if we are filled with the Holy Spirit, we will never speak about ourselves. But we will speak always about Jesus Christ. We will never point people kanatun. We will always point people to Jesus Christ. We will never point people to anyone or to anything. Because the main goal is to bring people to the footstool of the Lord Jesus Christ. We will never let people believe in our own opinion. Ya blaga ni El Bible ese pero cheto ito own opinion para abla bright to hindi. We will lead people to Jesus Christ because even the Holy Spirit will not speak of himself but will always speak what he has heard. It means he's going to point us always to whom? You want to know Christ? Deeper way? Spend time with the Holy Spirit. You want to understand the scripture? And the script, Jesus said that the scripture, if you look for eternal life, you will find out that the scripture has been written and it points to Him, to Christ. The Holy Spirit will teach you. Will will show things to you and will clarify things. And so, he's going to fill us with all truth. Everybody say all truth. In the some, in the most, in the major, it's all. Amen, ba? Okay. <clears throat> Next is this. You know, in the book of, I think, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, the Bible says, The Spirit ex uh, speaketh expressly. That in the latter times, many will depart from the faith. The Holy Spirit will not only teach us things, but to show us things to come. Through His Word, He will let us understand. Ah, kel tabla pastor, malisod kasi El Bible, yale yon, may intende yah, sira lang yon. First and foremost, this is not something na insult or kosa ha. Si on the le kita El Bible, si kosa lenguaje kita komportable. That's first. Can God do a miracle? Yes, kay chene do yah uyo na otto lugar, na sabi do le English. Pero si yapidile kun Lord Juan, dispanta sila, si el Bible et tal, tapo dele intende. But first and foremost, please read in a language that we are, uh, what do you call this? Well, comfortable, comfortable. Second, do not rely on your own intellect. Rely on God Holy Spirit. And third, do not be ashamed to ask questions to those who you know 
that are really studying the Bible and are spiritually um, when it comes to the Word of God. No. Because the Holy Spirit is going to guide us. And one way of guiding us, the Holy Spirit is going to guide us. sister or brad, to Allah. Amen ba? Okay, let's continue. Sa kaldenante, lead you, uh, lead you unto all truth. Estelle Balan next. He shall glorify me. That's why I said earlier, he will speak not of himself but of Christ. Who is this me here? Jesus. He shall glorify me. For he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. And so if it is the Holy Spirit that is in us, and if it's the Holy Spirit that works through us, every time we go out and do his ministry, every time we go and do the mission of Christ, and every time it is successful, we never take the glory, we always give the glory to God. Hello? Ay ako yun to dito nag-ampo. Nanto ka, kato siya nag-ampo, wa yun, ako yun. Arayang. We never get the glory. Amen ba? Yes, praise the Lord, God has used us, God has used you. Amen. That's why every time we grab it, we always say, praise the Lord, it is not because of me, it is because of God. It is because of the mighty name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit will always point us back to Christ. Even in studying the Bible, for example, the last time, when you read the Bible, Lord, reveal yourself to me. Amen ba? He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine. And ye shall show it unto you. Show it unto you means he shall teach you these things. He shall make you understand. Now here is the last part. al pinakabale. Who among you here that you are blessed because you are learning about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Are we learning? Are we growing? Yes or no? Everything masayang. Kung atong attitude is that basta ang importante aprende yo. Amo lang gatkel. Ken ken sin al kostumbre. Porque man, even the Holy Spirit, who is, do you believe that God, Holy Spirit, is also all knowing? Do you believe that? Yes. Iba chin ang hente mga si kose sabi ng dikuti ko blabala to secret si. And he shall show it. He shall pass it unto you. He will make known it unto you. Brothers and sisters, when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, this is really also one of the evidence that you are really filled with the Holy Spirit. Is you cannot help yourself but go and share what you have. And that is the salvation that you have in Jesus Christ. Because if you are not willing to share, if you are not willing to go, and if you are not willing to do what Christ has done, what the apostle has been doing, and claiming to be a disciple of Christ, and claiming to be having the Holy Spirit, that is really a big question mark. Hello.
You will learn these things when you study the scripture. Because if we don't study the scripture, of course, kita sabi, I am saved, God will bless me, God wants me to be rich, God wants me to be that. And that is not the gospel. Quiero ustedes sabe how you will know a church, Gilaya El Church, na successful? It's not about the numbers. Yes, one is a life del mga gente akambia. But you know, si cosa el, el parameter? And this is the reason why I'm very happy and I pray God must work really. Work in a mighty way. Here's the parameter. You will know that a church is really filled with the Holy Spirit. The church has people who are now really growing in the Lord. It's not what we can receive. It's not how much we have in this church. It's how much we or how cosa ka grande el transcend kita apuera. And I'm not speaking about money. What I'm saying is when we go out and share the gospel, if people in the church are now having that 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 eagerness, that having that desire to go out and share the gospel, that is really a good sign. Hello? That we are growing in the Lord. That we understand. Amen ba? He will show us. He will teach us. Kasi habla si Jesus na last na disciple disciples. Go. Make disciples. Teaching them to observe whatsoever I commanded you or whatsoever I have taught you. Share it to them. Share a question. What's the use of us going to a university? Gradua kita. Kabar akal mas tu jante del university kaba kau gradua tak ada lang tambah itu doh. Tapi mana ada kat sabi? Di mana tu menuntut bright guy? Can you say that university is is a success? No. Hindi ang tablet ng CC and nursing nyo. Pero araw ko sa L, kundal din yung course. You see, I've learned, I went through college for four years. 25. I stabo ay akong say and shifted to nursing. And so, what's the use of learning something and then you don't use? What's the use of having that knowledge and then you don't pass it on? The Bible, the Bible, love your neighbors as you. Said it is here. What you know, you also do. Hello. Okay, let's do this. If we have the Holy Spirit, we will be filled with truth. If we have the Holy Spirit, we will always glorify God. It is not about us, it's about Him. And if we have the Holy Spirit, we will truly have that desire, not only that desire, we will have that, we will be committed in winning souls for the glory of God. Brothers and sisters, from the very start, the mission of Jesus Christ was to preach about the kingdom of God. Why? Because his desire is that no one would perish, but everyone will come to repentance. And this is the very purpose why God sent the Holy Spirit to empower his children as his children will go and continue the legacy of Jesus Christ. Everybody say with me, legacy of Christ. By the way, who was the first El Pinakauna and go and, and preach the gospel? Ten. 
Huh? No. Kaya nung pinakauna ang preach? It's Jesus. John the Baptist just prepared the way. Yeah, like it in another verse. I need to preach about the kingdom of God. Therefore, I am as he was sent to do it. And so when we call ourselves disciples of Christ, Debe, chene, sinalitong korason. Willing kita man share. Pero si Pimi lang kita, ay, diliin nyo, hala na, ay, wala na ko ilabot niya, ay, kamo na na, kay kamo lang gagigamit sa ginoo. Here's my question. Are you a disciple of Christ? Because from what I've studied and what I've read sa Bible, no disciple of Christ has that attitude. And so we should have that akalba, desire, not only desire, and we should be really akalba, willing. Everybody say willing. Volitional will the atom. Uh, really put in mind, you know what? There's a purpose, porque habla na book, not na scripture. He that wins soul is wise. Amen ba? And that's the reason why, brothers and sisters, you ought to be filled with the power from on high. Kailas matagare Bible studies. Continue to spend time with God. Yung mayamang kompiyansa nga, ay na, ano ko Bible sa, okay. The more you need to spend time with God, the more you need to learn, the more you need to apply what you learn. And the more you need to depend on God, Holy Spirit. Be close with Him. You know why? Because the success is not because of you. It will always be because of God, Holy Spirit. Always remember this. We are just vessels. The atom contribution is just the willingness to be a vessel for Christ. The strength, the word, the knowledge, the wisdom, the provision, everything comes from God. Even the very, but you come to think of it, even the, even the vessel itself comes from God. For example, the only thing is the willingness. Everybody say with me, willingness. Are we willing? I can just stop and stop, I hope. Despair tayo kita. Amen ba? Amen ba? Let us all stand. Hallelujah. Say with me, Lord. Te abla lang to si willing to say, Lord. Here I am. I am willing. God will never send people na hindi leman equip. God will never send people who are not ready. For example, last time, diba? If we really want to be used by God mightily, manada tabla, wala pa man ang kulat ko, nag-ampo na ko. Here's my question. Are you equipping yourself? Are you studying? Are you spending time with God? Or nagsalig lang ta, sige lang Lord, okay lang kung may mong evangelist, mauna di ko gastadi. That should not be the attitude. And so if you are learning, you study God's Word. You apply God's Word. Please don't stop there. What you have learned, you need to apply. Amen. What you have learned and applied, you need to share it to others. 
Amen ba? Ablato na dito side. You are called to represent Christ. You are called to herald. Herald. It means to speak about the gospel of Jesus. And so if we are called to do those things, it means this. We really need the Holy Spirit. And thank be to God, He was sent to empower us, to comfort us, to guide us, to teach us. Brothers and sisters, no mata si sayang. No antes no yung entende kundo tabla kung ika namun mi tata, mi nana. When you stand before God, abrabla kung tiga si Lord, what have you done with the authority, with the power, with the knowledge, with the wisdom that I have given you? Read the parable of the talent. Del uno y andan al esconde. ¿Qué se hace? Amueran que le chene. Ya saca con el oro. And so, hopefully, tonight's preaching would truly, you know, be planted na dito en corazón. Amen ba? Don't allow Satan to remove that. I know most of you here are really excited to go and preach the gospel. I'm not saying that you're not willing. But here's the thing. Be diligent in studying God's Word. Be diligent in applying God's Word. And be diligent in sharing God's Word. Kasi si dili, diligent kita astudya, hindi kita sowa-sowa astudya. Si diligent kita man apply, hindi lang kita basta-basta. Si diligent kita man share, ta sigura kita na kosa kita nang share, amo i, i in line really with God's word. Abla to ni say, be a diligent person. Before we close in prayer, let's sing the song, We are an offering. Lord, you are for us. Lord, you. desire and if you're really willing 
to be used by God mightily. Just speak to Him this evening. Say, Lord, here I am. I don't know your plan. I don't know your ways, but let me understand. And just say to the Lord, Lord, I am here. I am willing, Lord. I am willing to be used all for your glory and honor. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, wonderful is your name, Jesus. Wonderful is your name. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are filled, you are baptized with the Holy Spirit. I encourage you. Every time you spend time with God on your secret closet, allow God Holy Spirit to really move and exercise the gift of tongue. To those who are not yet baptized with the Holy Spirit, I encourage you really to seek it. Not only seek it with your mouth, but really seek it with your heart. You can be baptized. Remember, it is not the pastor who baptizes you. It is Jesus. So don't think for a second na aki lang to na iglesia kada baptize. Start doing that in your own home. It's very important. As a believer. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, for your word. Lord, you know the heart of those willing to be used by you. God, Holy Spirit, we pray, guide them. If they need equipping, Lord, tell them, God. Guide them that they will equip themselves. Give them the strength and the wisdom. Because we believe, Lord, you will not just send us if we are not prepared. And we believe you are going to prepare each and every one. Those whose heart's desire is to be used for your glory and honor. And I pray, Lord, and hope that each one of us right now, and even the listeners in life, they will truly have the desire to continue the legacy of Jesus Christ, that is to preach the gospel. Thank you, Lord. Here we are. Your vessels use us mightily, all for your glory and honor. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, as we depart from this place, let it be, God, Holy Spirit, that your smile be upon us. Lord Jesus, your precious blood to continue to cover us and God surround us with your warring angels. Bless every household. Bless every family. In Jesus' mighty name, from the youngest to the oldest. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Everybody shout praise the Lord. Tell to your neighbor, I love you and Jesus loves you so much. Good evening and God bless.